Hey, this is Ben from Cadence Themes, and I'm going to give a quick tutorial on how to use the Cadence WooCommerce Elementor. I'm on a local demo site, just some imported content from the Ascend Free theme. And this is how Ascend outputs the product pages. You do have some settings in Ascend, but in general, this is your typical product layout. Using Elementor, you don't really get any control over that layout. So if I open up that product page in Elementor, really, my only control sections are in the description. I can't change any of this stuff, style it, or anything else. Um, so it's pretty limiting when it comes to what I can use in terms of products. What this plugin adds is the ability to control the entire page of Elementor. So now these templates will work, the Elementor Canvas and the Elementor Full Width, so I can apply that. And then I can say in this product template section the default, or I can use this product's Elementor or some extra templates I make. Um, and you can have as many as you want. I'll get to that in a minute, but let's just look at using this product's Elementor. So if I select that and update, and then reopen this product in Elementor, now nothing's there, and I can start from scratch and load the whole page, this plugin adds all these extra WooCommerce elements that allow me to build the product page how I want. So I can come in here and add a new section and let's get rid of that. Now I can come in, let's put in the product gallery and product title. And now I can build that same layout, but I could also build a completely custom layout um, however I wanted to, or I can even create it more like a landing page or whatever. So I can have control over everything in terms of the product title now, if I want to change the color for this specific product, I can do that using the settings in the, in the widget. I can align it. So I have a lot more control. And to give you an example of that, I built this kind of product page to show you kind of just what you can do using this plugin. So if I go into the Elementor side, you can see that each piece has been added um, and has settings that I can control. So what's nice is this add to cart, you can now control the button, change the border type and hover, and you can change the quantity and edit how that looks, as well as build the rest of it using Elementor so you get all the awesome controls of Elementor with your product stuff. But what's also cool is, you know, so let's say, uh, here's an example product. Let's say I wanted to just add a section here and I want to apply that across the board. Traditionally, you, you just can't do that without using a themes, you know, functions file, like a child themes functions file or some way getting into the code. What this does is it allows me to build product templates. So I have this one we can show. And basically what this is, is I rebuilt the product page. And there are um, pre-built templates that you can download from Cadence Themes. So you don't have to manually add each widget if you don't want to. There's a couple I've, I've even set up here. But now I just went in and added this section so I can just promote free shipping, extended warranty, house free returns, and that's all been added to that layout, that traditional product layout. So if I go into this product page, just edit product, I can assign uh, that template, update it. And now I get these nice icons. So that's a great um, addition to what this thing can do is you can assign templates on a product by product basis. The other thing that you can do is come into WooCommerce Template Builder. And here you can assign that as the default. So that could apply to all my products as the default and then I can go into each product and change which ones I want but for something as simple as just adding these extra icons that's a great and easy way to do it and have it apply across the board and the options for that are limitless because you're using Elementor so
anyway, that's a quick overview. Thanks for watching.